Welcome to the Packet Tracer Activity 9812. Go to page 2 of the instructions. Type arc. There are two arc options within Packet Tracer. However, on an actual Windows machine, there are more arc options. Okay, step two requires us to Ping address 255.255.255.255 and then issue the ARP hyphen A command. Let's issue the ARP hyphen A command first. We see that the ARP cache or ARP table is empty. I'm going to ping the 255.255.255.255 address. Now issue the ARP hyphen A command to review the uh, ARP cache. And we see that uh, PC 1A has learned the MAC address that's associated with IP address 172.16.254.1. Then that IP address belongs to, let's see, belongs to the switch. Okay. Yeah, from time to time switches are assigned IP addresses, but switches do not require IP, IP addresses. So, um, and, and Basically, you want to assign an IP address to a switch to allow remote management. It, it allows you to access the switch from a different location. Okay. Page three of instructions. Okay, we need to go to the event list filters, simulation mode, and we need to ensure that only uh, ICMP and ARP are selected. Okay, in step two, we need to issue the ARP-D command. Okay, and that should clear the ARP table. Let's verify. Okay, the ARP table is clear. Yep, the ARP table is clear. Okay, and once again, we will ping. 255-255-255-255. And we'll go ahead and use the auto capture.
right? Instructions. Okay, when the buffer full window opens, click the View Previous Events button. Then we can uh, go ahead and uh, inspect each packet. Okay, we ping the IP address 255.255.255.255, which is known as a limited broadcast address. So at layer two, the destination address will be converted to all Fs, which is the broadcast address at layer two. Okay, this is just one uh, sample of analysis that can be done uh, at your leisure. Go ahead and uh, analyze of the packets. 